there are few positions in our cabin, I say our cabin, and Sheila Oliver couldn't be with us this morning. I just got off the phone with her a short while ago, and this is very much a team sport uh, as it relates to Sheila and me, and as you'll hear in a minute with the ways as well. There are a few positions in our cabinet where the twin goals of building a stronger and fairer economy uh, intersect more than that of Secretary of State. New Jersey's Department of State has a broad mandate overseeing everything from state tourism and voting to cultural heritage and history to the commissions which strengthen our international partnerships. Having a Secretary of State who will give equal importance to each and every facet of these divisions, agencies, and commissions is of the utmost importance. It requires a leader who understands both business and law and who respects the vast cultures which make our state a melting pot and who has the tested leadership skills necessary for guiding a department with such broad and varied mandates. Thankfully, uh, we don't have to appoint three separate people. We found, Sheila and I found, the one who I know and we know will be able to not only serve, but serve New Jersey with distinction. It is my honor today to announce our nomination of Tahisha Way of Wayne, New Jersey, to be our next Secretary of State. We have gotten, and I say that, my wife Tammy is with us, our daughter Emma, we've gotten to know Tahisha and her husband Charles very well over the past several years. I feel I know Charles well enough to have asked him whether or not that call on the Steelers and taking that touchdown back yesterday was legitimate or not, and we're very welcome to answer questions on that as well. <laughs> and in, for you Pittsburgh fans, and in that time, I've had the pleasure of knowing a strong, independent, intelligent, and forward-thinking person in Tahitia who believes strongly not just in public service, but in our state and in our communities. Tahitia's life and career are a testament to our age-old value that hard work, perseverance, and determination can lead you anywhere. She was raised in the Bronx by parents who bo both worked for the New York City Transit Authority. Her late mom was a railroad clerk and her father drove her bus. He's a little bit under the weather and he is in all of our prayers as we stand here today. A standout student, Tahisha worked her way to the Ivy League, graduating from Brown University, and along the way had to overcome a life-threatening brain hemorrhage at the young age of 19. Throughout my life, I have been blessed. A little girl who hailed from the inner city was able to attend the finest higher educational institutions, then pursue her passions of law as a civil litigator and educational engagement as an adjunct professor. It was also a distinct privilege to serve as a Passaic County freeholder and state judge. But none compares to this great honor. And Governor-elect, I am forever grateful. I would also be remiss if I did not thank several individuals without whom there would be no me. First, my mom, who is here in spirit, and my dad, thank you for teaching me to always work hard, be tough, yet respectful and honest. My husband, Charles, many thanks for showing me unconditional love and coaching me up to be the best I can be with the important reminder to always give back to others. 